What's up guys, Hotshot Frontier back at it again with another video and in this video we're going to be doing a market watch after the balance. So guys, I know the balance came out a few days ago, but I want to wait until, you know, the market sort of settled-ish and see if uh, people were a little more creative in their choices for the new meta. So let's go ahead and start with, of course, Photon Hypernova. And guys, you know, this set basically just came out. Uh, OTS stores, of course, got it a little earlier. But now that there's more listings on the market, uh, you guys can see like the prices have gone down a lot dr dramatically, dramatically since pre-sales. Um, it's really good because I love when there are more listings on TCU Player. Only reason because that means the price goes down. Of course, when there are less listings, that, that means when the price goes up because there are less listings. So like, for example, like Rise Heart was like 45, 40 bucks uh, before and uh, now it's like 20 bucks so it's kind of good for people wanting to build the deck but um as you can see there's a lot of good cards that are uh really low right now like gravekeepers inscription i bought them at uh eight bucks each so like 24 and the other day it was at six and i was like oh maybe i should have waited but now it's at seven so it's slowly going up you know what i mean you kind of have to take your chances you want to buy things immediately uh when pre sales go up or uh you want to wait until they might go down but they also might go up higher right so you kind of have to be careful with that but um i think the set is really good right now i cannot wait to see where it settles in a little bit but let's go ahead to power the elements because of course uh sprite got hit and tier just got massacred unfortunately uh wonderies also got hit with the barrier statue but let's go ahead and uh check out before we check them out though guys these starlights don't you think they look a little cheap i'm just saying you know for a set that was very, very well anticipated with tier limits and Sprite, uh, the Starlights look really cheap. Just saying. Uh, but of course we have Blue for $31. I mean, it's not too crazy because again, they got hit and people are kind of giving up. But I honestly, I think the deck has still a lot more power to, and a lot more energy to kind of just destroy the meta. So I'm still gonna play at the deck a little bit, but um, I think Paralino getting hit by getting uh, Going down to $25 is insane. Remember when this card came out, this was $90, guys. So if you want to play the deck, you think there's hope with tournaments, I pick up a play set because why not? That's basically you're paying three, getting three copies for a price of like one when it was, when this card came out. Um, and then current cards of Divine Carnate went down. It's so hype because uh, Cash Tira, you know, once they use their effects, you can summon this, it kind of just, uh, it's a way to interrupt them. But um, honestly, I think there are a lot more other uh, cards you could use to disrupt Castiras. But, you know, if you wanted to still use it, I think this is probably a good time to pick it up. 14 bucks, it's not bad. Ultimate Slayer is a card that's uh, been like down recently. Again, it's a really good card as a three up and a side. Or a main, if you're using that. So, Elf, so unfortunate, my, my boy. I, I don't know what to say to you, but uh, Rhino Heart 6, you know, it's been cheap for a while too. But I think that's pretty much it for Power of the Elements. If we move on, we have Fujinki Akashima. This is a card that uh, Sprite players are trying to use to replace the Elf that got banned. Um, it's a one of, fortunately, because when I opened up Dual Overload with a friend, I split it with him. I actually only pulled one copy. So I'm actually really happy to have my one copy. Uh, but if you don't, it's like 16, 70 bucks. When the balance came out, it was like 20 bucks, 22 bucks, but it has been going up as well. People had seen this a long time ago for Sprite. Um, but I would probably get your copy soon, or you could wait because you never know if it'll go down. Uh, we move on though. We have Fenrir. So this card has been going up, you know, because Fenrir is just amazing itself, but now the deck, uh, it, the card did get a reprint and as an ultimate rare in the OTS 21 that just came out, which looks really amazing by the way. But um, I think this card is gonna stay up for a long time until Tiramis, like, not Tiramis, like Catch Tira gets hit really hard. I don't think this, this card is very meta. So, I mean, if you wanna sell your copies now, you can. It could go up if, you know, they start topping and, winning like YCSs and stuff like that. So, you know, you never really know, but it's still a good price to sell yours. Cashier Unicorn though, I really want to say, I'm surprised this is at, oh, 19 bucks. Uh, you see 24, yeah. I think this card after Fenrir, you should probably buy if you're trying to build the deck because think about it, Darkwing Blast was last year. And um, I mean, you might get a, a reprint this, uh, this year, but it's gonna be for a while. So think about in a few weeks, this card might actually go up through the roof. 
if you're not uh, being, watching carefully. And then we have the Punk Engine. Uh, Foxy Tune has historically always gone up like that, but um, you see the Ogre Dance is actually like 10 bucks now, and it's a good searcher card for the archetype, for the engine. So uh, if you don't, if you wanna, you know, play the deck or you think you might play the deck, then pick up your copies. But uh, yeah, people are having a lot of ideas with this deck, this format, so. We have now Servant of Endymion. This card uh, went up to like $3 after the ban list, because you guys don't know, it's now at three. And I'm really hoping, you know, Pendulum, Pendulum best deck, baby. Endymion's gonna do well, this format. But um, Draco Slayers have already been slaying it, of course. So I have no doubt that Endymion, Endymion will do the same. But again, they're cheap copies, you know? If they start winning, then the card's gonna go up, of course. But uh, let's move on. We have Sprint. I think people are going to play, be playing more copies of Sprint in the, in the uh, extra deck. So it may increase depending on the success of Sprite or, you know, what you're using this for. And then uh, going on to the next thing, we have actually Sword Soul. So uh, Sword Soul is, people are thinking that's going to do really well in this upcoming format. Uh, now that tournaments, you know, the decks have just been like really downgraded. And the Moi Yi Secret Rare has gone up to like 20 bucks. It was really like, what, $10 before, even lower. The uh, Mama copy is starting to go up as well. Thank God a lot of these cards got reprinted because if not, oh man, these, this would be like a $30, $35 card probably. <laughs> so th thankfully for that, right? Um, but you know, you, built, you know, you could still pick it up. It's still a cheap deck as well. So I would consider it. Next we have Lava Golem. Uh, Lava Golem is a good card to use against Kashtir or other decks that, you know, decks you really don't want to, like, use your normal summon. So, uh, Lava Golem is like 6-7 bucks right now. I think it's really worth it to have a playset because it's good to have it in the, the main if you can run it. If not, the side is it's really good to kind of just get rid of your uh, opponent monsters. And then we have Substitute. This card digged off the ban list two balance ago, and, uh, it was seeing again more uh, hype because Sprite got hit, so people were trying to look at more ways to play Sprite. Um, you know, you see copies for like 10, the damage stuff, you know, uh, near mint, but this is this is Korean. Uh, you have a lot of heavily played. If you want, if you just want to get a copy, just get a copy at lowest. Don't try to get like a near mint uh, first edition copy, really. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. But we have Welcome Labyrinth. Uh, this card immediately after the balance was like $57. It's slowly starting to cool off only because Labyrinth's got more support in the next set and uh, Photon Hypernova. And um, yeah, the deck is seeing a lot of hype. You can main deck Lava Golem with this deck. So you can't go wrong with that, honestly. But moving on, we have Distrudo, which is uh, amazing. It went to three guys. Oh man, there are going to be some shenanigans. I can see it already. But you can see the only copy that actually blew up was the uh, Super Rare. And it makes sense, it's the only hollow, and you know, Yu Gi Oh players, we always want to hollow out our decks. But uh, the other copies, coincidentally, have not gone up, especially since when this had interaction with the ban list last time, all the copies went up. So I would get your copy now if you definitely don't have it. Uh, moving on, we have to one of the last cards we have Frostosaurus. So if you guys don't know, in the OCG, Dinos got more, announced more support. And there's a need for a monster, a normal monster, dinosaur monster that's level six. And people will just bought this card out. So I think you could just play any other copy. But if you have it and you want to use it, hey, now you know. You don't want it, definitely sell it, right? We have Orihime, the uh, Manifested Makonko. Makonko definitely saw a buyout because um, I think people are definitely underestimating this set and this card specifically. So I would definitely keep a lookout on this um, or, you know, what the deck can do next format before anything else. And then moving on to, you know, second to last thing, we have Gishkis. So now that Sprite Elf got banned, um, people are really heavily going into Gishkis and the level twos, you know, the things that they can do are pretty good. So I think that's probably like the only route for Sprite right now. But there are different, you know, there are other options you could do with the deck. But it's just so hard with... Um, you're just not able to recur your toad so frequently now with elf but again the deck is still really good in my opinion last thing we have swords of concealing light this card is pretty cool you know you just play it and all your opponent's monsters go face down the only thing i don't like about this is that it's on the field you know swords revealing light basically so immediately just have to destroy it and then like that's it 
I think there are other forms of interruption like Book of Moon, uh, Lunar Eclipse, you know what I mean? There are other other things you could do with that. And um, yeah, I, I just think that uh, but if you want to get your copies, they are very cheap uh, with cents. And then, of course, they go up as you get to Ultimate Rare. But guys, that's it for today. Uh, definitely a lot more I want to talk about, but I'll leave that for another video. Be on the watch out. I'm going to be releasing a How to Counter Castira video very soon. I'm working on it right now. But guys, that's it for me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And if you like the video, make sure you give it a huge, huge like. Comment down below what you think the new meta it will be. And guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're updated the moment I upload a new video. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you have, a, again, a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.